Whether you're creating a small two-layer board or a large 16-layer board, the importance of the stack up is something that should never be overlooked. This is why Altium Designer has always included a user-friendly layer stack manager where we can make changes to the board's stack up and materials. In the main interface, the first thing we see is the layer composition of our PCB. The first thing to consider is potentially having a symmetrical layer structure. Differences in thickness and mechanical properties of materials in the upper and lower halves of the stack can lead to some board warping during the manufacturing or assembly process. Now to help you design a symmetrical layer stack up, we've included this option in the properties panel. If your current stack up is not symmetrical, we have a few different options to decide how we want to balance it. You'll also notice that by default, the layers will be given a default material. This information is being pulled from Altium's material library, and it would be a good practice to store all of your stack up and manufacturing information inside of this library. Although there are quite a few material choices to choose from, it's likely that you'll have a specific material that may not be listed here. This is why the save and load options can become helpful to you to help you store your unique materials. Even if you have all of your materials stored, it's possible you'll need to make some manual changes occasionally to the layer properties. But to ensure that someone doesn't use a value that hasn't yet been stored or approved, the library compliance checkbox will ensure that the selected materials are approved and pulled from the material list. And when the new material is selected, there will no longer be any errors. Now jumping to the via types tab, this will contain information about the types of vias allowed in the project. You can use through-hole vias as well as blind and buried vias if you're working with any type of HDI boards. Back drilling of vias, also known as controlled depth drilling, is used in high-speed designs when unused copper stubs need to be removed. When we enable this feature, we can then configure the drill pairs so that the board manufacturer knows which via types and layers will need to be back drilled. Printed electronics and rigid flex boards are also defined and created from the features button in this layer stack manager. When the stack is designed and approved, it makes sense to save it as a template so that you can reuse it in other designs. It's as simple as going to the file menu and either saving it as a local file, to the server, or saving it to the PCB so that it has the updated information. Once saved, you would take the same approach to load the file when you want to reuse it. Now jumping into the PCB, we would maybe want to create a dedicated layer, such as a fabrication layer where we can place information about the stack into the PCB workspace. Placing the layer stack table into the PCB will give the manufacturer, as well as yourself, a visual representation of the layer stack up. In addition to this, we can also take advantage of the Draftsman document to give us more detailed information about the PCB and its stack up. 